And then when we make base coat, I made this kind of a whitish block out color. The reason why I made this white color is that when people ask me, oh, my skin tone, which is this, which I have reddish, my skin tone is so-and-so olive, whatever color, and how, what kind of color would it look great in my skin tone? Now, that's like most question that I get from editors and you know readers or whatever and our clients. But you know, I discovered something before I made this uh, during backstage when we were doing all 20 different models with different redheads or um, African American models that have a different nail bed color. So it's not really a skin tone that you're worried about. It is the nail bed color. Now I have uneven nail bed color. This one's white, this one's pink. And some people have a super white nail bed or almost blue black too, I've seen that too. So I made this sort of like a primer so that true color from the bottle will only show. So that way you're blocking out your nail bed color. Now there's couple of different ways to paint your own nails. You could do it like this, or you could flip it over and do it like this. Now, to have more precise cuticle or control of your nail brush, I do both ways, but it's a matter of maneuvering because you are doing your own nails. And of course, I'm already, so. next hand will be a challenge. So you want to let it dry a couple of minutes because it's still, you can see, still wet. And, and don't worry about, it shouldn't, and, I mean, you it might look streaky, but it's not really streaky. If that's, if you're concerned about the even surface, then this is when you fix any of mistake because it's base coat. I mean, it's, there's no color in it, so you just smooth it out. 